When your rabbit is molting, it is vital that you remove as much of that loose fur as you can. Because if your rabbit ingests this while they are cleaning themselves, and that will happen, it can cause serious issues such as GI stasis or even a blockage, and those can be life-threatening. But what do you do when your rabbit absolutely hates being groomed? In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that I use to help get the job done. And yes, that is rabbit fur. Before you begin, you need to make sure you have the right grooming tool for the job. Now there is no one grooming tool that will be right for every bunny and every owner to use. So we have a grooming mitt and I actually bought this for our cats, but you can use that on bunnies and some people really like it, especially if your bunny just absolutely hates a comb or a brush, then a mitt like this might be something you want to try. It has silicone little teeth, they're very soft, and you just put it on your hand and brush your bunny. Here we have the Groom Ninja and the Furminator. Both of these have large handles that are very comfortable to hold, and then a bar at the end with little teeth. And those teeth do grab the loose fur, but sometimes I found that it can pull the fur, and so they're not typically my favorites to use, but a lot of people have good luck with them. This brush by Lil Pals is one that I used to use a lot with my bunnies. It has very soft bristles, and the bunnies have chewed a lot of these off. But I don't tend to use this a lot now because of the hair buster. This is the hair buster, and it's really more of a comb than a brush, but I have been using this with my bunnies for the past couple years, and I really like it. It has this piece of rubber that is woven in between the metal bristles. And that really helps to grab that loose fur and to hold it to the brush so it doesn't fly all over the place. And there will still be hair flying all over the place, but it helps to contain it. And what some people do is they will buy a comb like this. And you can weave a rubber band or a piece of rubber in and out of the teeth and make something similar. This is only about 20 bucks on Amazon, and I'll put the link below. And I found that it does a really good job. If your bunny is longer furred, such as a Jersey Wooly or even a Fuzzy Holland Lop, you might want to try a wide toothed comb. That tends to work better, especially if there are any snarls and knots that you need to gently comb out. Something like this might work better for you. Now that you have your grooming tool, the next thing you want to do is find a place to groom your rabbit. Typically a table or a counter, something a little bit higher up off the ground so your bunny won't run away might work well. If you have a litter box with your rabbit's hay, sometimes that can be a good place to try to groom your rabbit. This here is Moose and he is a multi mess. <laughs> And he's super hyper, as you can see. And he typically is not the easiest to groom. So I thought it was a good time to do this video because you also might have a rabbit who is very hyper. Thanks for the kiss. But I know you really want treats or a girlfriend. <laughs> One trick to try if your rabbit really hates being brushed, like Moose here, wet your hands down. Yeah. And then take your hands and run them down your bunny's back. Really massage your hands into your bunny and typically the bunnies don't hate that as much as being brushed but that fur will stick to your hands now my hands aren't actually wet because i'm going to be brushing him here soon but that is one tip that you can try if you don't want to go the brush or comb route or your bunny just won't sit still if your bunny is not interested in sitting in the hay container and eating hay contently while you brush then you might have to try the next trick which is bribery. Now this isn't going to last long, but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of bribery. He's munching on parsley. I'm gonna to try to be as quick as I can, running in the direction that the hair is going. You don't wanna go the opposite way. That can be uncomfortable for them. And I'm already getting a lot, but you will notice when there's loose fur. 
So that treat did not last long, but he's still letting me grab some of the chunks. And this is not going to be a one day deal. Usually this lasts for a couple weeks and you have to wait until the fur loosens in whatever pattern it's going to loosen. And then just keep at it. Moose has been molting for over a week already. I'm hoping he'll be done in the next week. <laughs> He's pretty much done sitting still and I don't wanna keep giving him more and more parsley because too many treats can throw off their digestive balance. As soon as I start doing this, it tickles him. He starts kind of grooming himself. But look at all this. This is what he would be ingesting if I didn't remove it. And that's very dangerous. Sometimes if I have a bunny who is very content with just sitting here, I will take them outside on a table and just let this blow away in the wind as I work it loose. But Moose being as hyper as he is, I really don't trust that he wouldn't jump off and run and we have dogs out and I don't want him getting away. Now that we're done with the parsley, I'm going to show you what I do morning and night when he is molting. And this works for other bunnies too, especially those who really don't like to be groomed. If you're still struggling to get your rabbit to sit still long enough for grooming, try during feeding times. When they're hungry, they tend to sit still for a couple minutes at a time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. All right. And the timer starts. As you can clearly see, brushing moose during feeding time works exceptionally well for him. I had a captive audience for several minutes and he really didn't seem to mind me gently brushing him. Did you buddy? Did you mind it? Don't bite me. Even though brushing can remove a ton of fur each day, you might notice some poop ornaments in your rabbit's litter box. And all this is is poop strung together by the fur that your rabbit is ingesting during grooming. I'm not overly concerned about this because Moose did have normal poop in his litter box as well and his poop is not shriveled like BB's indicating that he's dehydrated or having serious digestive issues. But there are some things you can do to help support your rabbit during the molt other than brushing. Some other ways that I help my bunnies through molts would be digestive tablets, and I feed them Sherwood brand digestive tablets. They're very palatable. Most bunnies think that they're treats, and they do help to improve digestion, which is obviously very important when your bunny is molting and consuming some of their fur. If your bunny's using a water bottle, consider adding a water bowl while they are molting because having plenty of water around can entice them to increase their hydration. And that's good because you want lots of water, lots of hay going through their system to help deter digestive problems that can occur more often during molts than not during molts. Plenty of hay, make sure to be offering them as much hay as they can eat. You might try even different types of hays, especially during molts. You want that fiber to keep pushing things through their guts. Although it's always important to give your bunny exercise, this is especially helpful when they are molting. Wherever you have the space for your rabbit to run around, whether it's free roam in your house or you have an exercise pen, either indoors or outdoors, that is a great way to help to encourage extra activity for your bunny. Frequent brushing, digestive tablets, lots of water in a bowl if possible, plenty of hay and exercise daily are all great ways to help support your bunny when they are molting. But most importantly, do whatever it takes to get that loose fur off of your rabbit. If your bunny is resistant to being groomed, try wetting your hands down, rubbing that down their fur. Even if it's just a few seconds here or there, that fur will really accumulate. Try having a litter box or a box filled with hay 
That can sometimes get bunnies to sit still. Try bribing them with a healthy treat like plantain herb, if you have that in your yard, dandelion leaves and flowers, parsley, cilantro, a bit of leaf lettuce or kale. Try to stay away from the fruits because even carrots, they're high in sugar and they can cause digestive imbalance at a time where your rabbit's digestive system is probably a bit stressed anyhow from the fur. Or wait until feeding times when your bunny's bowl is empty and they're hungry for a bit of pellets. You probably will have at least a minute or two there twice a day to have an opportunity to groom them. Good luck with the grooming and I hope everybody gets lots of fur off of their rabbits. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see everybody next time. Thanks for watching. When your rabbit is molting, it is vital that you remove, remove. <laughs> Before you begin, you obviously need to make sure you have the right grooming tool for the job tool. Did I say tool? And plenty of exercise are all great ways to help your money through the, to help your money through the molt. <laughs> Bunny. Treats like parsley, dandelion leaves and flowers. Did you just stomp at me, Sonny? Times work. There's so much fur.